Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do because I'm constantly uploading videos that will help you feel more inspired, more motivated, and more connected to moving and growing and feeling more alive. Now, this video is all about my favorite ritual. Recently, I've been reading a lot of blog posts and listening to podcasts where people are talking about rituals, things that they do every day or every week that help them feel really connected to the path and the vision that they have for themselves. The truth is, I actually have of quite a few different rituals. Some of them are very spiritual, whereas some of them are probably more practical habits. Anyway, for this video, I wanted to share with you my most important sacred ritual. This is the one thing that if I don't pay attention to and honor and respect, my whole week seems to just fall apart. It's something I have really learned to make sure I prioritize, and that is the power of Monday. When I do this power of Monday ritual, I start the week with an amazing level of energy and enthusiasm. I know exactly what I'm working towards because I have my goals. I have a sense of vision and direction and momentum. I also am aware of any sort of upcoming challenges that might come my way. And doing this power of Monday ritual helps me brainstorm and come up with ideas so I can proactively prepare to handle those challenges to the best of my ability, but also learn to grow from those challenges. And most importantly, when I respect the power of Monday, I find that I get so much stuff done. And that means I can take my foot off the gas a little bit towards the end of the week and actually feel good and feel proud about the fruits of my hard work. So for this video, I'm sharing with you the key things that I do that pays respect and honors to the power of Monday. All right, so the first thing I do every Monday is I wake up early, like 5 a.m. When you prioritize getting up early and getting out of bed and doing things, you will be amazed as to how much you can get done. There are no people calling you, there are no people messaging you, there are no people emailing you at that time. You become incredibly efficient with no distractions and you actually get stuff done. Number two, I always prioritize a meditation session into my Monday morning. I try and do this the moment I wake up because I'm already in a relaxed state. It's very easy for me to like slip into that meditative zone. And often when I'm in that meditative zone, I will come up with fantastic ideas that are going to help add value to my week, to my work, to my relationships, to my health, to my spiritual connection. But I make sure I prioritize getting this done early in the morning. The third thing that I do is I always expose myself to some form of motivation. Now, that might be listening to a motivational podcast or a motivational video on YouTube. It might be reading my own personal goals. It might be reading or looking at some images online. Whatever it does, it reminds me is what my goals are, what my vision is, and what my mission is. That is incredibly important because that is what springs me out of bed and starts making action actually happen for the day. Now, also whilst I'm going through my exposure to motivation, I will also stop and think about things that are going well in my life. I start to show gratitude to the simple things around me because what you appreciate, appreciates. And I will do this even with areas in my life where I'm struggling or feeling some bit of conflict or something is just a little bit off. I will try and focus on the good things about that. So say for example, I might have an argument with Tom and I'm feeling a little bit nervous about our relationship. I will actually think about the good things in that relationship. I will focus on the things that are so great about our relationship and I will build upon them. Those things that are playing in my mind, which are normally just simple little insecurities, start to subside and I get the sense of perspective again. But it is really important that when you're doing this motivation that you stop and take the time to acknowledge how lucky we are to be on this planet, that we get to breathe, that we get to be amongst nature, that we get to have people around us, that we are given opportunities to grow and succeed in life in whatever we are trying to do in our worlds. Now, coming to that point about nature, the fourth thing I do every Monday is I get amongst nature. I get outside, I breathe the fresh air. Now, for me, I live quite close to the ocean, which I'm incredibly grateful for. So I will make sure no matter what time of the year it is and how cold it is out there, I will get into my swimsuit and get into the ocean. Just kickstarting Monday with an ocean dip. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so we can all 
use the magic of manifesting March. The moment those waves hit me and I get my head under the water, I feel cleansed, I feel re-energized, I feel recalibrated, I feel ready to tackle the week ahead. And trust me, there are plenty of times where I stand on the edge of the water thinking I really don't want to do this and I will come up with ideas or, or excuses, but at the end of the day, when as soon as I get out of that water, I know that I definitely did not regret it. And then the fifth and final thing I will do every Monday is I will make sure that I prioritize getting some form of exercise. I will move my body. When you move your body, you also move all that energy. Even if it means I can only do 20 minutes that morning, that is better than nothing at all. And sometimes even that 20 minute workout is all I really needed to actually feel good again, to feel like my muscles are getting stronger and more powerful again, and that my head is cleansed. I've released all those endorphins and I feel inspired then also to eat healthy for the rest of the week. So that is it for this video. I really hope that you start to look at your Mondays with a fresh attitude and perspective, that you no longer dread Mondays. You look at them as a week full of excitement, opportunities, and personal growth. So remember, just the smallest little habits, maybe one of these ideas or a little bit of one of these ideas mixed into some of your own, may make a huge difference in your life. And you're the one who's going to feel and see the benefits. So why don't you have a go at doing any of these rituals yourself? And if you're already doing these or you'd like to try some of these, let me know how you go by putting a comment in the comments box below. I love hearing from you guys. All right, that is it, everyone. I better get back to work. I have got a busy week ahead of me myself. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You often will see me doing my morning rituals, particularly my Power of Monday rituals, which I love to share on Insta stories. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao.